Uh, my name is Hani El Khatib. I've always played music um, ever since I was a kid, and, and really, I just kept it up as a hobby until um, I started recording on my own. And, and you know, one thing kind of led to another, and I just started playing shows, and it just kind of snowballed into kind of where it is now. So when I was younger. Um, I guess hip hop was just happening, and I, I was listening to, you know, the Beastie Boys. And then I decided that I like electric guitar, and then I started listening to um, Jimi Hendrix. And then I got a little bit older, and then I realized that the Beatles were cool. And then got older than that, I, I was like, oh wow, Sonic Youth is fucking cool. Dinosaur Jr. is cool. And it just kind of kept going and going, and, and now I'm kind of at a point where I, I really just enjoy all sorts of music, you know? It wasn't until I got you know, later teens and when I really kind of realized like, oh cool, like, you know, music from the 50s isn't all fucking shitty Grease soundtracks or whatever. You know, it's, it's like, it's Gene Vincent being a fucking maniac or it's Hazel Atkins being psycho, you know? It's like, that's, that's fucking cool. And when, when I, oh, I started making music and stuff and I, I think the, you know, for, for me personally, like, I, I really like, um, I like writing songs that are like to the point and, and I, I think old rock and roll and, and blues music and, and a lot of uh, American kind of roots music kind of does that. It's, it's real simple, like a few chords, like a good story and, and, and that's about it, you know? With the way, in regards to how I record, I, I really kind of focus on, on quick takes and, and I, re I really try to um, capture like the immediate, um, I guess, magic of, of, of a song, you know, like right away. And, and I keep things real raw and super, super simple in the studio. Not much, not much production going on other than capturing the sounds as it comes. I, I like music and I appreciate music that is recorded in that way. You know, I like a lot of old, older recordings that feel live. And, and, and feel fresh and you know a lot of times there's mistakes here and there and, and you know they just leave them in and it's, it's cool. First record given to me was uh, uh, Michael Jackson Bad by my mom. Yeah. <laughs> well that and she gave me um, uh, Fat Boys tape and she gave me uh, License to Ill on tape. <laughs> you know, my mom spoiled me. <laughs> Um, 2012 seems to be pretty busy for me so far. Um, you know, it just started and I'm actually in the studio producing a, a, a record for like a heavy psych um, rock band called uh, Feeding People. And so this month will be spent in the studio with them. And then come February, I'm basically on tour for, I don't know, like the next five, six months or something, pretty much straight. So there's going to be a lot of traveling and stuff, and I'm going to sneak in um, uh, recording my next record somehow in between all that. I, I don't want to stop making music, and I don't want to stop making art and, and being creative and, and getting into different projects and stuff. I think, I think that's what I'm kind of hungry for.